Hi and welcome back to our channel. In this video we are going to show you how to perform a picture lookup in Excel. Here is an example of currency symbol picture, change based on your currency name in the drop down list. So, let's see how it's done. deal with the currency logo to begin with. I've got a sheet called currency here, and on this sheet, I have all the currency names in my drop-down list, plus all the symbols and some other information about the currency. Let's concentrate on the symbol column. The first thing we will do, is to make sure that these images all fit nicely within their corresponding cells, and they don't overlap the boundaries of the cells. The other thing you do is to align and distribute the images properly, by select all the images after holding down shift, and then head to Picture Format tab on our ribbon, choose the Alignment menu here, and align it to the center to distribute them horizontally. Next, to manage the alignment vertically, we will go to the Alignment menu again, and choose to distribute vertically. So, this is very important so that they don't appear to jump around when we change the currency name. The next step is to copy one of the cells that contains one of those symbols picture, it doesn't matter which cell it is, but make sure that you don't select the image, instead we select the cell that contains the image. Then you go to copy, go back to your dashboard sheet, and paste the image in as a linked picture. Now get rid of that border around the image. We can do that by selecting it, going up to picture format, and choose the crop tool. Then we will crop the edges so it will disappear. You'll notice in the formula bar that this picture refers to images C2, which is where I copied it from. Now if we go back to currency and take out the dollar symbol image and put the euro image in its place. Now go back to the dashboard we can see it's now picking up the euro currency image. Let's go back here and just undo what we've done there. So now we know that it's essentially picking up whatever is in that image. Now we don't want it to do that, we want it to pick out the image that corresponds to the currency name we select here. Now the way we can achieve this is by using the index function. The index function will find the row position of our currency name and pick up the corresponding symbol in the symbol column. I'm going to write my index function here. But it doesn't really matter which cell you type it in. Now the first argument is array, so that's the range of cells that contain all possible results you want to return. We want to return all possible symbol and they are on the currency sheet in the range C2 to C10. Now all the cell references in this formula must be fixed, and you can do that by selecting the range that you've just specified, and pressing F4 on your keyboard. Now press comma, the second argument is row number we want to calculate. The row number of the currency name selected here. We can use the match function to match and returns the position of a value within a range. You specify our lookup value is our currency name and fix that. Next our lookup array is on the currency sheet A2 to A10. And we need to fix that as well. Press comma, this will bring our match type which should be an exact match for the currency names. Then we need to close a bracket for match formula, and another bracket for index formula. Now this returns zero because there's nothing in the cell for Swiss franc. If we type something at the currency sheet here, like let's type a 7 in it, then this would return that 7. I don't actually want that in the cell, so I'll delete it. Now I want the index function to return the logo image, rather than the value that has been entered into that cell. If you are thinking to copy and paste this formula in the current reference the image is using, then don't do that because, unfortunately it doesn't work. But don't worry, there is a workaround for it. What we can do is to create a named reference for this formula, then we can use that name here. So, how do we create a named reference? First thing we do, is to copy the text of the formula we've done here from the formula bar. Then we will go up to the formulas tab on our ribbon, and choose name manager. Then we click new, now we are going to create a name for our formula. I'll call it symbol. Then down, paste in the formula. Click on OK. Now you can see we have this new name, and it refers to the formula that we've just created. Then R are going to select the symbol here. And in the formula bar, we will type it equal symbol, and now we can see the symbol appears in the list. 
so I'll double click on it and I'll press enter. Now when I select a currency name it returns the correct symbol in this cell. So that's all we wanted to cover in this video, thanks for watching, I hope you found it useful, hit the thumb up and don't forget to subscribe.